Both wines are French, white and delicious, but what is the actual difference in between Chablis and Chablis Premier Cru? Let's find out! Before we start, many thanks to Matteo from Classic Drinks, Agnès from Domain Guterron, and the Corkscrew Wine and Spirit Merchants for helping me with this video. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe! The Chablis region is a part of Burgundy and is located in the northwest corner of this magnificent region. The village of Chablis is located halfway in between Bonn and Paris. The climate of the Chablis region is quite unique and can be described as a semi-continental. Winters are quite long and could be very cold, which is summers are quite dry, followed by a really warm autumn. Cooler nights helps the wine to get a vibrant and refreshing acidity, and long and warm growing season help the producer to make healthy and delicious wines. There are four different appellations in the Chablis region. Petit Chablis, Chablis, Chablis Premier Cru and Chablis Grand Cru. And more details about the difference in between them later in the video. So, stay tuned! Did you know that all four appellations of Chablis are produced from one single variety, which is Chardonnay? One of the most unique part of the Chablis region is the soil, and more precisely the subsoil called Kimmerijan. This subsoil is geological age in the Upper Jurassic epochs, around 150 million years ago, dated to Kimmerijan era. So the first difference between Chablis and Chablis Premier Cru is the soil. Chablis Premier Cru are based on Kimmerijan soil, rich of sea fossil which is generic Chablis vineyards are based on Port Malian soil, lack of minerals, and generally speaking, produce fruitier and easy to drink wines. Have you ever heard that phrase ABC, anything but Chardonnay? People who saying this had normally bad experience with inexpensive or cheap New World style Chardonnay, or maybe Californian Chardonnay full of oakiness, toastiness and tropical fruits such as pineapple. But if you try Chablis or Chablis Premier Cru that is clean, dry and mineral driven, I can guarantee you that you became a Chardonnay lover. Some Chablis wines could be labeled as Vieille Vigne, which means that this particular label was produced from the older vines. Vieille Vigne are definitely more concentrate as older wines produce less quantity but better quality juice. The average age of Chablis wines is between 4 to 6 years, which is the average age of Chablis Premier Cru wines is between 10 to 12 years, and this is the second difference in between both wines. There are four main appellations in the Chablis region. Petit Chablis, which is located slightly outside of the Chablis town, and the vineyards are located on the flattest part of the Chablis region. Chablis is the region's biggest appellation, and the vineyards are located in the north and northwest parts of the slopes. Chablis Premier Cru is divided into 17 different clima. Did you know that this term comes from the Greek word clima, meaning slope? The Premier Cru Chablis are split into the left bank, with the slopes facing east and southeast. On the right bank, one of the best clima, such as Vacupin, Mont Milou, or Fourchon are facing south. And this is the third difference between both wines. The vineyards of Chablis Premier Cru are located on better slopes. They have more sunlight during the day. They are also protected from the wind and in many cases can be protected for the spring frost. I have to mention that also seven clima of Chablis Grand Cru, the most prestigious, the most powerful wines produced in the region. Wines are grown on the unique and rich soil of Mars and Kimmerijan limestone. 
the fourth and probably the most important difference in between Chablis and Chablis Premier Cru, it's the taste. Generic Chablis taste and smell of green apples, citrus, melon and touch of minerals, which is Chablis Premier Cru, it's definitely more concentrate. We can get some ripe apples, ripe melon, lemon curd, peaches, and the amount of minerals and that kind of flinty tones is absolutely unreal. No. Chablis Premier Cru, a part of the taste and longer finish, have also fantastic aging potential. If the Chablis was made by a really good producer and comes from really good vintage, can be easily stored up to 10 to 15 years after the harvest. On the other hand, generic Chablis, in my opinion, should be consumed within five years time. Finally, the last difference between both wines is the price. The average cost of Chablis Premier Cru is between 45 to 55 euro per bottle, sometimes even more. The average price for a generic Chablis is between 25 to 40 euro per bottle. Thank you very much for watching. As you can see, there's a lot of differences in between Chablis and Chablis Premier Cru, including the taste. By the way, don't miss out my next video where I will explain the differences in between Grand Cru classification, French Grand Cru classification, in between the regions of Bordeaux, Burgundy, Alsace and Champagne. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!